Hey guys, Ashley here with another reaction to another FMA video, and it's another top seven list. And this is best of the worst FMA Brotherhood homunculus. Well, at least it's not like the other title, but it makes me question: What's this got to do with that? My question will probably be answered within the video. So let's get to it, shall we? Hey guys, it's Seb here, and welcome to a new video. Seb In case you're wondering, I got a new mic. It's pretty snazzy. I might do another vlog snazzy. showing Who you. Snazzy. Who's a snazzy? A later date. Okay. But today, we are doing mm. something different. We are doing also, the like and dislike here. Woo! Seven, but there's seven anyway, but... There are the seven. Idea. Seven yeah, sins. Doi. I want to see that I've only seen Brotherhood, and that's only one, so I haven't seen the original... I um, yeah. kid, you gotta see the original. It would definitely be used. It would definitely be a fun time. Well, don't take this too seriously. Mm -hmm. That's what I'm trying to say. Okay. Also, in case you were wondering, spoiler alert. Hey, this guy actually pointed out, unlike the and other also, guy. So that's a plus. Clips I use here, just because I think you'd rather not sit through subtitles while I'm watching this. And I think that's just about also. It. Oh so, boy. I'm sorry, but I, this gets really loud, so... Sloth. Okay, so seven. I never really liked Sloth, I'm gonna admit it right now. I always thought of him as the homunculus that was just as tall and never really meant to be. Yeah, he was pretty much a tool. Personality, and the only things he's good at are my I'm not saying he's the worst, I just find him pretty bland, to be honest. Such a pain. See? To think about it. But such a pain. Living. Yeah, he was the least developed homunculus, which is kind of sad. I mean, he has a cool power being the fastest, and he's like a bigger, dumber, and worse gluttony. Very built. He is probably like the most useless, boring, and stupid homunculus. Uh, if by useless, he actually created a freaking tunnel at a very high speed. He makes a lot of meerkats jealous. Of pride. Maybe or something. Maybe face off against Major Armstrong. But, I guess there has to be seven up deadly sins. So Doi! But, I mean, you could have at least... At least the original sloth was a little more interesting. And, ah, hang on a sec. Hang on a sec. Uh, I'm sorry, I'm gonna have to keep doing this, guys. Just so it doesn't get too loud. Number six. Last Woo! Year. So, Wait, what? as I mentioned earlier, I haven't seen the original... And I've heard that Lost in the original did a lot more in the But in Brotherhood, but Brotherhood? In episode 19 before anything big goes down with like the promised day or anything. Yeah. So yeah. Now I Also she's Lost the only female homunculus. The list because I like Lost a lot. But apart from her cool death, I don't remember her doing anything else good. Don't you mean hot? Partially kill huge, but bad joke is bad. I'm sorry. All without Lost. I never really thought her power was cool. It's like having bendy swords for hands. So that's why but, or Meg. so low down. I would have loved to see her character grow. There's so much that she could have done to make her amazing. I don't see why she had to die. The original the was better. Reed died not too long ago, so why do you have to have her die? To give Mustang a memorable scene? Maybe. To make In a way. Gluttony hate Mustang? Maybe. But I don't think that's a good enough excuse at all. Number five, Glossony. No. Nope. Lost, I never really grew attached to Glossony. He was a cool Why did you show Grilling? That was a bit weird. But he didn't have a hey, Gluttony. Until we found out about that weird bellied portal tree. I like Gluttony. And let's be honest, his death was terrible. Everybody knows it. Seriously, Pride is hurt, so he's like, hey, who do I eat? Oh, yeah, Glossony. And Glossony oh. just says like, oh, don't kill me. Poor I'm thing. Character. And Pride's like, no, I need your big guns. No. Yet. Aww. Don't. Stay in. He killed the big old softy. Seriously. I'm <clears throat> sloth. And then the show's like irony. Ha ha ha. That's not funny. And says that being eaten hurts. So I would say Gluttony was in one of the best categories. Out of nowhere, oh. less than a minute. I'm not even joking. Like. That's all I really have to say about this character. Decent character, but terrible death. Yes. Sorry. Number four. 
Pride. Ugh. Pride is a very hard one for me, hence why I put him on the halfway spot. Since I haven't seen the original, I was very surprised when he was introduced. I wasn't familiar with the seven deadly sins outside of context, so I didn't even know there'd be any more. His introduction was... Uh, like, did you not really do research, movie. kid? I like how Seriously, do your research. Both died in the same episode because they're father and son. Ugh. Kind of. <laughs> okay, that's actually kind of funny, I'll admit. Yeah. <laughs> he has a cool power and a cool death. With an awesome cameo by Kimberly. Um, Kimberly is awesome, but I won't let you take this body. It's not a good fit for a homunculus. <laughs> but, uh, I don't really like him too much as a character. Yeah, I hated him. <laughs> sorry, again, I'm sorry. Three wrath. This is the point. At least he's not too list, high on the. the At least he's not number one. Not really the negatives. Cause a lot. You, there's so more of like, being number uh, one. His ultimate eye is quite a cool ability. Yes. And when he takes down that tank, when he's introduced in part five, Bradley is so is a boss when he took awesome. down that tank. Woo! Yeah, he took down a freaking tank. How do you do that? And taking down a tank is a lot harder than it looks. But apparently, this show made it cool. I saw this comment by somebody and thought. Oh my god, this summarizes Russ perfectly. Which is something like, if Russ was in Attack on Titan, the Titans would go... Oh, oh that's that, a actually. good idea! And this is exactly what I think about Russ. He's really cool and his death was well handled too. I like how He did have a respectful death, death, I'll give him that. Words made me feel for the character, even if he did some bad things, which you'll see in the next entry too. So yeah, just listen to his final words. Any last words you'd like to say? Hmm? Such a sad life. Tell me, Bradley. Was there anyone who you loved? Any friends? Your wife? My wife. Are you saying you have nothing? No message for her? When she finds out what you are? You trip your words of sorrow, of love and guilt. Mean nothing to me, young lady. My wife understands. She's the woman that I chose to live by my side. Oh. There are no more words that need to pass between us now. That's what it means to be the wife of the Fuhrer. Death of the King. And now you spent all your time asking me. Huh. Lion King reference here. But. What a shame. Oh. Okay. Hmm. Seriously, kid, you could have just lowered the volume on this and. Number two, Envy. Envy! Envy. In the first part of the show, I never really liked this guy. He killed Hughes. Of course. Why? That'd be the reason why people why would hate why? him. But hey, hey so regardless, I like Envy, died, regardless. I really clip with him. But when he died, I just sat in bed and thought, Oh my god, this is a great villain. Yes. Yes, he might have a weird voice and appearance like me, but he was a Shapeshifter, really androgynous. Well. He started the ish fallen war, he killed Hughes, he can transform into CGI Godzilla, and he's just <laughs> very cool. Nice little and drawing. Know, his death was even more spectacular. After finding out that Envy killed Hughes, Mustang literally. Oh, <laughs> why did you bring that? <laughs> no. No, 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 please not this. Moron. You. Tell me who the real moron is here, because I don't think it's me. Uh, okay, I gotta do this I joke. I to use that term for someone who falls for a cheap trick like this. Okay, I gotta make this joke. Be back a second. Dumbass! 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 How much of a dumbass are you? In fact, if you look up dumbass in the dictionary, you'll find a picture of... What should be you in there? Exactly. 
I'm sorry, but I just had to make that joke. And it fits so well. Anyways, let's get back to the video. Um, <laughs> boy. You should see your face. Oh, you're not going to believe this. Uh, that aside from that, Envy's got great time. commentary here. The He's got the best. Can he can be great for commentary. See every emotion he felt as his own wife shot him. Oh, <laughs> it was great. That's enough. Oh, no. You were stupid enough to confess. And even more stupid to boast. Uh, Everything you my name is Roy Mustang. You killed my so best then, friend. Prepare to me. die. Uh, 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 There's no way to describe no. how angry he is. No! PewDiePie could get a channel deleted forever. And he really? Be any close to how annoyed Roy was. Wait, a PewDiePie? No, 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 Envy, no! No! get close to the rage level Mustang gets to. I'm sorry, but I can't show. Like spreading butter. And like he did with Lust. And then when he finally snaps out of it, it's too late. Then, Envy admits that he was jealous of humans. I'm and sorry, I don't want to show. I don't want to see Envy burn. I'm like, Envy. Envy's death was the saddest for me. And you're envious of us, and then he commits suicide. Envy. Yay for suicide? No. I don't know, I'm sorry. <laughs> Number one. Drum roll, please. Actually, it's no blatantly obvious. Greed. Greed. Now, I always thought greed, or at least second greed, as an anti hero. Yes. He was like the rebellious team of the group and hated being his father's puppet. I, I want to blame when him. Met Ed, and Ed tried to recruit with him. He's like, I want to join you, but feel free to join me. MLG. I actually don't really mind Greeling. Cool. Awesome like, duo. And Ling were merged and that they were fighting a common yet different goal. I like how they clash, but not always. Which I guess makes Ling a villain too. But, uh, I don't know. No, Ling is still an ally. He just has and green so in his body. Um, where he was put together. I like his ultimate shield, and I always look forward to seeing him on screen. Now let's talk about his death. Now, this was so heart-wrenchingly sad. He, he actually died a hero, the actually. The stone. So Greed gets is getting sucked away inside the body. Of a Ling is, like, taking him back. And Greed's like, don't do this. And Ling's like, I don't want you to die so greed's like okay fine let's do this together sucker punches ling that was cool <laughs> what are you it's time to say goodbye kid there's no point in you getting sucked into my old man with me hold on Th a second this count deadpool you just told me we'd fight together didn't you greed you can't just sucker punch me like that <laughs> And then it says goodbye to him finally, and it's really sad. So, yeah. He he helps kill father. Like, without him doing that, father might have never died. And then after being transported out of his body, his final words are, oh, I've had enough. enough. Yeah. yeah, that's, that's all, all I, need. I really need. Hey, you Get could just play the clip. You yeah, know, you can't play the clip. Ugh. <laughs> Thank you, goodbye. and goodbye. My friends. You don't need the redundant. Let that just sink in. Greed said he wanted everything, but in the end, all he wanted was some friends. Uh, feel for greed. Cliche. Everybody else in the series. Friends is magic. He is my favorite homunculus, and one of my favorite characters too. Hmm. Rip greed. Well, and that's just about it for this video. If you enjoyed or have any other um, thoughts on who was your favorite homunculus, etc. Envy was my favorite. Always so, will be really in Brotherhood. Comments, even though half of my subs like don't like anime, or at least my friends don't. Um, you who do like anime, <clears throat> Rashad, um, yeah, feel free to comment as much as you want. Thank you, and I'll see you all soon. Goodbye. Okay. That 
was a bit better than the last video I reacted to. At least this one is a bit more on the mature side. And, well, I have to say, this kid actually did point out some points, like that um, Sloth didn't really do much in the show, he really wasn't given time to develop, or that Lust was actually killed off in the first series. Um, second homunculus to be killed off. And, well, that, of course, not really a fan of Pride. And at least he had a better explain explanation for Envy, rather than the last guy did. Seriously. If you actually look deeper into the characters, into why they basically did what they did, or at least their motivations behind it, like with the seven homunculi, you actually have a better appreciation. I know it's kind of weird that I was associated with a murderer, but come on, it's Envy for crying out loud. He actually was my homunculus that got me into watching the show, mainly Brotherhood. So yeah. Zip vlogs, you actually did pretty good, kid. And I honestly give you the thumbs up. And I hope for the rest of you guys, feel free to leave a comment below of which your favorite homunculus was and why. I'll see you all later. Ciao, ciao.